Hello again, I'm June and I'm here to talk to you today about purchasing a guitar. Uh, specifically talking about first time guitar buyers. Um, my advice, for whatever it's worth, um, don't just go out and buy a $3,000 guitar to start off with. This uh, Taylor T5 Koa that I love uh, is, runs about $3,000 new. Uh, for the first time guitar buyer, my suggestion is go talk to people who have guitars, play their guitars, go to the music shops, play their guitars. Don't just jump into something. A lot of it depends on how serious you're going to be. If you're going to be super serious and you want a pretty good guitar to start off with. There are a lot of uh, brand name guitars, Taylor, Yamaha, Fender, Seagull. I mean, just the list seems almost endless that are really pretty good guitars just right off the, the shelf. Um, but again, my advice is play a lot of guitars. Find something that you like, that you're comfortable with, um, that's inexpensive to start with because I've known a lot of people that they buy really nice guitars. They practice for a month or two, then it sits on the shelf and it just sits there. And they end up selling it at a yard sale for you know pennies on the dollar. Um, you know, if you can, if you've got a friend who's got a guitar that's sitting around, borrow their guitar for a while, um, if they'll let you, and, and mess with that. And um, I found personally that over time, my taste in guitars has changed. Uh, way back in the '80s, ooh, years ago, I bought a brand new Fender Strat from. Uh, I can't remember where I bought it from, but anyway, I bought it. Uh, um, I bought it anyway. Um, I still have that guitar. It still plays great. I still love it. Um, I think I spent $1,500 on it back then. Uh, this Taylor I bought used. Uh, the Fender I bought new. The Taylor I bought used. I paid about half of retail for it. Um, you know, and first-time guitar buyers, too, look into used guitars. Check out the pawn shops. Um, and if you find something you like at the pawn shop, you know, if it has a $300 tag on it, ask them if they'll take $150. Uh, you know, you can haggle with them. A lot of times the retail stores, you can't haggle too much, but the pawn shops, um, oftentimes they're willing to haggle because they, they know that they, they can get it out the door and make a few bucks, and that's a few bucks they've made. Um, a couple of things you want to check for in a guitar is um, how high are the strings off of the, uh, the frets? Um, if, if they're like super high off the frets, then that's going to be a pain in the neck to push down on it. And that's not a good thing. You can also kind of eye up your guitar, look down there, and see how straight the, the neck is. I've seen some necks that they look like roller coasters, and that's not good either because then you'll have some problems when you're playing. Some places it'll buzz, some places it won't. Uh, before you buy a guitar, play it. Don't, um, you know, I, I broke that rule when I bought this because I bought it off the internet. I got it off of eBay. Um, but I bought it from a reputable dealer off of eBay that I could send it back if I didn't like it. Um, which, you know, it's a little bit different than the corner shop, but where I live, there isn't a corner shop. I have to travel an hour one way to find a decent guitar store. Um, so my advice also is just take your time. There's no rush. Um, if, if, if you come across a great deal, great. Um, but, um, a reputable dealer is, is really a good thing because if you have a problem with the guitar, you can take it back and they'll make it right. Sometimes you buy one off of uh, Craigslist or um, some guy off of eBay. At least eBay has buyer protection. But, uh, you know, some people won't take the guitar back or won't make things right that are wrong. They may claim that it's working and it's not. And um, so, you know, take your time. Be careful. Ask people who know. Um, ask people who are where you want to be so that, you know, you can grow into that. And, um, you know, you, you can spend as little as 20 bucks for a piece of poop, or probably even less, or you can spend thousands of dollars. Um, like the Olsen guitar, Phil Kagey's got an Olsen, and um, I looked online to see how much one of those would cost, and I said, oh, you know, I don't want to spend that much on it. Um, so thanks for listening. I'm June. God bless.